remember the preacher saying, Son, it shall come to pass. There will come a generation that will be the last. I can't believe we're standing here to see the end of time. And the preacher's voice echoed in my mind. starting just a couple minutes early tonight. And I've got the privilege of bringing the young man that's usually sitting behind the soundboard out here tonight. His daddy usually sits over there in the corner. and He's one of the deacons in our local church, but he's serving God on foreign soil tonight. Our, our, it's morning for them. We pray for all the missionaries in the Philippines, and we greet you tonight, or again, you all in the morning, but it's evening for us, about 718, and such an honor to get to work with these young men and their years they've been sitting at these desks and their talents developing in them and we want to give them a chance to participate and stand over here on this side of the camera and sing to us about the love of God and what he means to them so I trust this will be a blessing to you and we'll start our regular program here in a few minutes sing for us Joe there are decisions I can make on my
this evening. Dios le bendiga esta noche. Welcome to the broadcast. Bienvenido a transmisión. We dedicate this this evening. Dedicamos esto esta noche. To the wounded. A los heridos. The broken. Los quebrantados. The hurting. Lastimados. And the alone. Y los solos. God's children. Los hijos de Dios. Tonight. Esta noche. In the morning. En la mañana. Throughout the week. Durante la semana. Whenever you tune in. Bueno, no importa cuando usted mire eso. May you feel the presence of the Lord. Usted puede sentir la presencia del Señor. May you know that he hasn't forgot you. Y saber que no te ha olvidado. He knows where you are. Y sabe dónde estás. And he knows what you have need of. Y sabe que necesitas. The Spirit of the Lord is upon el Espíritu us. El Espíritu del Señor está sobre he nosotros. He sent us with good news Nos envió tonight. Con buenas nuevas esta noche. Bind up the broken heart. Para atar los corazones quebrantados. Set liberty those that are bound. Liberar los que están atados. Pick up the downtrodden. Y levantar los que están bajos. Lord, when I first met you, well, I thought all my troubles would be over. But I soon found that sorrow, heartache, and trouble, they still lingered, though I was walking with you. I discovered what a comfort you were in those hard times. Now my faith is tested and true. We remember the Carpenter family in prayer tonight. So, so as I enter this valley, this old familiar valley, will I've learned, Lord, just
Your love is so 
back down. We're going to go back to that second verse. We're going to do that all again. Don't go anywhere, Sister Rebecca. We only get you for one night, it seems like. So we're going to, you're probably just going to have to stand there all evening. I don't know if that song spoke to you like it did to me. Maybe you say, well, Brother Daniel, I'm not out to sea. You know, Peter hadn't even had an upper room experience when Christ told him to step out of the boat. I thought what that must have been like, you know, stand on water. Maybe you can't stand on it tonight. Maybe, maybe it's not the sea. Maybe you're in a raging river tonight. Maybe it's not a mountain. Maybe it's a deep valley tonight. I don't know what it is, but I know that if you'll just trust the shepherd tonight, he can get you out of whatever trouble that you're in. Sing to me, Nicole. Forgive me, Jesus. I thought I could control. Whatever life would throw my way, but this I will admit has brought me to my knees. I need you, Lord, and I'm not ashamed to say. Amen. All together now. Sometimes it takes a man. Sometimes the trouble will see. Sometimes it takes a desert to get a hold of me. Your love is so much stronger. Let him throw the first. 
he trusted even hanging on the cross he said father please forgive them if he can love someone and find the good within in spite of what they've done no matter Stay there, though, Sister Nicole. I want to read you all a poem somebody posted today. A priest passing through his church in the middle of the day decided to pause by the altar to see who would come to pray. Just then, the back door opened and a man came down the aisle. The priest frowned as he saw the man hadn't shaved in a while. His shirt was torn and shabby and his coat was worn and frayed. The man knelt down bowed his head, then rose and walked away. In the days that followed, at precisely noon, the priest saw this man. Each time he knelt just for a moment, lunchbox in his lap, well, the priest's suspicions grew. With robbery a main fear, he decided to stop and ask the man, what are you doing here? The old man said he was a factory worker and lunch was half an hour. Lunchtime was his prayer time for finding strength and power. I stay only a moment because the factory's far away. As I kneel here talking to the Lord, this is kind of what I say. I just came by to tell you, Lord, how happy I have been since we found each other's friendship and you took away my sin. Don't know much of how to pray, but I think about you every day. So Jesus, this has been just checking in today. The priest was feeling foolish, told Ben that it was fine. He told them, man, he was welcome to pray there anytime. It's time to go and thanks, Ben said, as he hurried to the door. Then the priest knelt there at the altar, which he had never done before. His cold heart melted, warmed with love, as he met with Jesus there. As the tears flowed down his cheeks, he repeated old Ben's prayer. I just came by to tell you, Lord, how happy I've been since we found each other's friendship and you took away my sin. I don't know much of how to pray, but I think about you every day. And Jesus, this is me just checking in today. Past noon one day, the priest noticed that old Ben hadn't come. And as more days passed and still no Ben, he began to worry some. At the factory, he asked about him, learning he was ill. The hospital staff was worried but he had given them a thrill the week that Ben was with them brought changes in the ward his smiles and joy contagious changed people were his reward the head nurse couldn't understand why Ben could be so glad with no flowers calls or when or cards came not a visitor he had the priest stayed by his bed no friends had come to show they cared he had nowhere to turn. Looking surprised, old Ben spoke up and with a winsome smile, the nurse is wrong, she couldn't know. He's been there all the while. Every, do, every day at noon, he comes here. A dear friend of mine, you see, he sits right down, takes my hand, leans over and says to me, I just came by to tell you, Ben, how happy I've been since we found this friendship and I took away your sin. And I love to hear you pray. And so, Ben, this is Jesus. Just check it in today. Sing. It sure is cold here in my heart tonight. It feels like I've been fighting.
God with Brother Josh here in a minute, but this is one of those things I have to sing this every once in a while to remind, especially when young people that I love so much go off to go to college out of state, that everything in life is just borrowed and temporary. We miss you. The people on the broadcast miss you. They ask about you. I know they, some of them message you themselves, say, where you been? What you doing? The good news is they're praying for you. We pray for you and think about you, but every assignment in life is just a temporary one. I'm looking forward to going home one of these days. A buddy of mine told me today, I, it's funny, you, if you're not careful, you want to check out before God's done. I don't want to be that way. I want Becca to feel all that God's got for her in life. I want her to accomplish every single thing Jesus has for her to accomplish. I know there's people praying even so, Lord Jesus, come. And if that's the time, if that's where we're at, I'm ready to meet him. But I don't want to leave one person behind that needs to meet him and know him as a savior tonight. So whatever darkness you're in, whatever troubles you're in, but he told me him and his wife were expecting. I thought, well, that's probably a little seed of God right there. We're going to stick around nine more months and meet that baby or whatever it is because uh, it's just a moment. We're going to have eternity worship at his feet. The things that I love and hold dear to my heart, there are just borrowed. They're not. Sorry, I meant with your saxophone. 
I'm not worthy of the scars in his hand. Oh, yet he chose the road to Calvary to die in my stead. Oh, why he loved me, I just can't. about four more songs for you before we go tonight and want to bring sister Rebecca back to sing orphans of God like they used to and then we're also going to do that song that you sang this morning but I want your mom to sing it with you she sings that when you're not here you know but anyway come on up here y'all sister Naomi yeah just though Joseph you stay here this was really beautiful and maybe this will minister to you if you can just stay in that presence there's miracles that happen in the presence of Jesus your shepherd, you shall not want. He maketh you to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth you beside still waters. He restores your soul. Yea, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, fear no evil. Then say unto the Lord, He is your refuge, and in him you trust. Though a thousand shall fall at your side, Yea, ten thousand at your right hand, it shall not come nigh unto thee. O oh, child, cast all your cares upon him, for he careth for you.
cares for you tonight. There's so many missionaries in the field tonight. I, uh, we're going to have those other songs I mentioned, but this came on my heart. and It speaks to me more now in my life than it ever has. Poet, artist, composition, I think his name was George Bernard, wrote, Hear the Lord of Harvest sweetly calling, who will go and work for me today. You know, I didn't know until last night that he wrote another hymn that we love. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross. I think sometimes it would behoove us to slow down in life and let the voice of God minister to us. But I want to sing a little bit of this. I don't know, maybe D. Hear the Lord of Harvest sweetly calling. Who will go and work for... Maybe you'll just say, if you'll save me, Lord, I'll go tell somebody about it. Who will bring to me the lost and dying? Who will point them to the narrow way? Speak, my Lord. Speak, my Lord. Speak and I'll be quick to answer thee. Speak, my Lord. Speak, my Lord. Speak and I will answer. now in sin and shame are dying won't you listen to their sad and bitter cry then hasten brother hasten to their rescue quickly answer master here am I Speak, my Lord, speak, my Lord, speak, and I'll be quick to answer thee. Speak, my Lord, speak, my Lord. without guilt or pain 
so oft abandoned by your transgressions. If such a thing as grace exists, then grace was made for lives like this. There are no strings.
Yes, you can hear me. We're all crying and joy in the presence of the Lord tonight. More importantly, Jesus loves you. some people. Let's pray together.